Hello, and welcome back to Productive Dragons channel, where we do unboxes, plan with things, and other things. And if you like that, please consider subscribing. Today, we got our ink flight in. Want to see what's inside? Come join me. Ink flight is a fountain pen ink subscription box. You get seven vials of ink. Uh, there's two milliliter of each sample. And you also get some type of fountain pen accessory it could be a notebook it could be a fountain pen it's been a felt pen which you can do it all depends on what it wants it is thirty dollars a month plus shipping and handling however i do have a code down below that if you use that coupon it will give you free shipping at least in the united states i don't know about anywhere else so without further ado let's see what tom came up with this month okay mm, all right gonna be an interesting one okay okie dokie this is this looks pretty cool all right okay so let's start off with the accessories we have a jackier impress a5 color swatch book okay oh Ooh. all right okay let me open this baby up all right record your ink swatches collection in this 40 page spiral a5 size notebook each ink each page of thick 200 gsm paper has a set of illustration ink bottles to fill in the fountain pen ink feel free to apply ink using a dip pen fountain pen or brush on this page identify each swatch by writing the name underneath made in the, made by the same company that produces wearing you inks these notebooks are imported from south korea ah okay oh cool check that out wow Ooh, that is, oh yeah nine bottles on each page oh nice and it is very thick paper so ooh. okay there's that then we have these girl of all works great writers page flags for book lovers and aspiring storytellers this set of age flags features four artists of classical literature Edgar Allan Poe Jane Austen Emily Dickerson and Oscar Wilde mark a noteworthy place with these uh, head hedge flags <laughs> a perfect adornment for your literary treasures okay founded in 2017 girl of all work creates innovative office slash lifestyle accessories that bring joy and whimsical <laughs> to everyday task okay and then of course we have our lovely i love this <laughs> sticker this was created by vanessa langton okay so all right all right all right all right okay so we have all this that's the accessory part now for the goodies the inks okay let's see here let's see how much i can butcher these in. all right birds of a feather flock together inks of the flight are a delight this month we feature the latest collection from Van Diamond Diamond Ink. Every bottle is handmade in a micro batch with 90% Australian ingredients, including 100% Tanzanian natural mountain springs water. Each color is inspired by the colorful plumage of a namesake bird. Hmm, okay. All right, so let's get these in order. All right. Of course, I'm going to use this notebook that I actually did get from Inkflight, which is the Nubula Classical Notes. Uh, it is 90 GSM paper, white paper, and there's 120 sheets. And of course, our handy dandy Q-tips. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's start with the first one. This is the Blue Jay Crown, a gorgeous periwinkle blue that shades very nicely with a dual tone of pink. Okay. 
Next, we have the Mandarin duck nape. This nape is the back of the duck's head and it's highly saturated teal with a sheening red. Next, we have the Laughing Kookaburra Crest. This unique shading color is a smoky brown with a tones of blue. Hmm. Next, we have the Honey Bee Eater Wing. This ink is a pastel shader and pushes the limit of where green and blue meet. Next, we have the Mandarin Duck Wing. This duck wing is a rich purple mahogany with that sheens. Next is the Honey Bee Eater Chin. This, bright, this ink is bright, warm, leaning yellow with a hint of orange. And last but not least, Elegant Peacock Train. This shimmering ink has was inspired by the decadent train of a peacock with a photogenic crystal of gold. Excuse me, with a phonotonic crystal of gold. There you go. Okay. So here's the inks, our notebook for swatches, our sticker, and some note flags. I will show the inks again, slowly. Talk about some flecks of glitter in that. Oof. Okay. So, what did I think? I loved it, as always. Um... I find it interesting what Tom finds in these inks, and I love the story. Um, would I recommend this box? Yes. If, especially if you like history of inks and why they picked what they picked. It's great. It's, it's an interesting box. I enjoy it just for that alone. I loved it. What was your favorite color out of this? Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this one more than anything. But all in all, they're all beautiful colors. But yes, this is absolutely beautiful. So let me know what your favorite color was and like the video. And until next time, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day.